All right, guys. So in this video, you guys are going to learn about important geometric formulas to know. Most of you guys probably know these formulas, but if not, then just bear with me as we relearn them. So the simplest of them all are 2D shapes, the area of 2D shapes that you normally see, right? And the first one's going to be a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is pretty simple. It's just length times width, where length and width are just the side lengths of the rectangle. Right, so let's look at this really easy example right here. So if the length is 4 and the width is 3, what is the area? It's just essentially 3 times 4, which is equal to 12 square units. So that's going to be the area of a rectangle, so memorize that formula. And next, we have a little more complex 2D shape. We have a circle. So what is the area of a circle? So you know that there's a radius, right? And the area is going to be pi r squared, where r represents the radius. So basically, let's look at this example right here. So the diameter is 6. What is the area of the circle? Well, if the diameter is 6, then the radius is 3, right? And let's just plug it into the formula. So it's pi times 3 squared. So that's equal to 9 pi. 9 pi squared, and 9 pi square units is going to be the area of this circle right here. And next, let's move on to a more traditional shape, the triangle. So the area of a triangle is going to be base times height divided by 2. So let's check this example out. So we have a right triangle right here, but we only are given the hypotenuse and one of the legs. So we don't know the base, right? We don't know the base of the triangle. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. So 7 squared plus, let's call this x, plus x squared is equal to 25 squared. So 49 plus x squared is equal to 625. Multiply, I mean, subtract 49 on both sides. x squared is equal to 576, right? Square root both sides. That gives us x is equal to 24. So the side length of this is 24. And now let's just plug it in back to the equation. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So that's equal to 7 times 24 divided by 2. And what is that equal to? That's equal to 100, right, that's 14, 154 over 2. And that's equal to 77 square units. So the area of this triangle right here, this right triangle, is 77 square units. Uh, square inches or square units. All right, guys, if you don't know how I derived 24 from this, check out my right triangle video where I explain to you the hypotenuse and the Pythagorean theorem. So check that out if you guys don't understand how I got 24 from this. And now lastly, the most weird shape of this lesson is the parallelogram, which is equal to the base times height. Because if you guys arrange a parallelogram, right, so let's look at this shape right here. If you arrange a parallelogram, for example, you split between right here, you can bring this triangle right here, right? This triangle can be moved right here. So that's how you guys get length times width. I mean, base times height, which is essentially equal to base times height. So it's derived from the rectangular formula. So let's check this out. So in our example is that this side is equal to 4 root 2, and this, our base is equal to 6. And they're asking for the area. So what are we going to do? We're going to split along right here and create a 45, 45, 90 triangle. How do I know it's 45, 45, 90? It's because this is 90, meaning this is also 45, right? So let's draw the triangle. 45, 45, 90. So we have 4 root 2. So what's the side length of this? 4. All right, guys, if you guys don't understand, check out my right triangles video where I explain how you derive this, but each side is equal to four. So now we have the height being four, right? And what is the area of a parallelogram? It's base times height. So that's four times six, meaning our answer is going to be 24 square units. So that's how you solve for the area of a parallelogram. And let me give you a quick review of everything. So this is the area of two-dimensional shapes. Rectangle is length times width. Circle is pi r squared. Triangle is base times height divided by two. And lastly, parallelogram is base times height. So thanks for watching, guys. Memorize these formulas as you might see them on your test 
or the SATs. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.